Have you ever heard the phrase, you can't give what you don't have? I heard that often as I was growing up and it makes sense, right? If I don't have a book, I can't give you a book. If I don't have food, I can't give you food. So in this physical world, uh, that makes a lot of sense. It seems to be absolutely true. You can't give what you don't have. Uh, in my interest in science, I, I often buy on DVDs, I buy different science lectures and I try to learn about the science of things. I like the, the, this physical world science, uh, you know, they call it, uh, um, there's Newtonian physics kind of science, uh, there's plant science and there's astronomy and I like to learn about all those things. Uh, that may sound like I'm a really brainy person, but I'm not. I, there's not very much that I could explain back to you that I understand it well enough that I could teach anyone, but I like learning. I like hearing about it. And recently I had a course on uh, quantum physics. And quantum physics is the physics that is in the subatomic world. And that's not uh, the same thing as Newtonian physics. So the laws of physics as uh, Newton and some of those early scientists uh, outlined uh, inertia and gravity and all those kinds of things uh, quantum physics is really different and there's some really different rules that apply to some atomic particles and I'm not going to try to explain any of that to you because not quite brainy enough <laughs> but when I thought about uh, that that phrase that you can't give what you don't have and started thinking about what about uh, emotionally mentally spiritually kind of things that part of us is different than the physical part of us. I think mentally, emotionally, spiritually fits more in the realm of quantum physics. And, you know, I've heard people in their relationships get really frustrated and, and uh, I have no more patience to give you. Or I don't have love to give. I don't have any more kindness in me towards that. I have no more tolerance of this. And I started thinking about that. And I think that we're getting confused. We're, we're mixing an area of that is true in Newtonian physics, that you can't give what you don't have, to this area that uh, really the rules of quantum physics more apply. So think about this. I have learned by experience that if I feel like I have no more patience, that I can't give patience to this person over this anymore, I've learned that that is a false belief. Uh, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, I have found that things multiply as you give. You can sit here right now with absolutely no love to give, no kindness to give, no tolerance to give. Uh, and in those moments of making the effort to give, those things multiply in you those spiritual emotional things that are really a core part of all of us don't be misled in thinking that you have none to give you can give love you can give kindness you can give patience and tolerance and charity and all those good things even if you think you do not have them in you right now i have found that as you put forth the intention and the effort to give those even though you feel like you don't have you have them in the moment that you try to give. They show up. It's, you, you'd have to get a little background in quantum physics to know why that would even make sense. But just trust me in this. My experience says that in the act of giving, you receive those simultaneously. And only in the quantum physics world does that make sense. But emotionally, spiritually, it does make sense. So if you are finding yourself in a situation where you don't have those kind of things to give, just set your intention and make that effort. Because in that effort to give, you receive at the same time. It is simultaneous. Uh, in quantum physics, uh, there is no limitations or restrictions by time and space. Uh, those kinds of things are really different in the quantum physics world. So go do it. Go give what you think you don't have and watch it show up in your life. Watch it multiply as you give what you think you don't have to give. 
it will increase and multiply and it will be there. Go try it and experience it for yourself. I think you'll have a, an interesting experience.